Hi neighbors. Welcome back to another video of Cooking with Neighbors. My name is Jerry Ellen. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my kitchen. My pleasure to have you here. Uh, so I'm going to show you an order that we got. I'm going to insert that clip here. Um, and I am going to use the zucchini out of that order to make a Amish zucchini bread or loaf, whatever you want to call it. So this Amish zucchini bread is a quick, simple Amish recipe, not a lot of ingredients, but packs a beautiful amount of deliciousness. So let's get started. So let's see what's in it. Let's see. It says that they ran out of peaches, so they substitute it with plums. This is gonna be great because it's kind of like, oh my gosh, let's see what we got. What kind of deal we got for our $20. Or with, with delivery taxes, whatever, it's like $23 or something like that. And then you have to use, well, some of the stuff you'll have to use like fairly uh, quickly. And sometimes you have time to wait. So let's see what we got. We got uh, some strawberries. Now, your area of food might be a little cheaper, or a little bit more money, right? So maybe it depends on where you're at if you want to take advantage of this deal. Okay. But this is in Canada. Okay. Ooh, I got cucumber. I got another cucumber in the fridge, actually. Get some corn. Some mushrooms. It's small, but it's tasty. I'm gonna. We can make. I can make a soup for Graham and I definitely with uh, this uh, little squash enough for him and I anyway. And then in here we got uh, five potatoes, uh, three apples. The apples that you get with these guys are really really good. Some clementines and some plums. Yeah, great for uh, some fruit for lunches, the tan. But yeah, look at that. I, I think, I, I actually am excited knowing that this is getting delivered once a week and what, uh, what we're gonna do with it. Now, Graham and I did go to the Walmart today because this was on sale for 60% off uh, honeydew melons and cantaloupe. So we got this bad boy for a little less than two bucks. And we got some uh, bell peppers that were on sale for 94 cents a pound, but only the red ones. So we picked up like uh, three or four bell peppers. So we, we picked up a couple other things. So anyway, hopefully see me use some of these things uh, in some recipes. And I'm going to show you next, next week what we get in the order as well. So it's again, it's called... Uh, Odd Bunch. I think in the UK it's called Odd Box and, and in Canada it's called Odd Bunch. But you can check the website and see if it's in your area if you're interested. I'm not sure if it's in the US right now. Uh, got a good one for you today. I know that a lot of you like the Amish recipes and I have an Amish playlist that I'm building and building and building on all the time. And this would be going on that and it's a Zucchini bread, okay, Amish zucchini bread. It's from a cookbook, I'll put across the screen in a second. Uh, 1979, over 300 pages, and most of that are recipes. Two recipes most of the time on a page, so load it with lots of recipes. So I will be going back to this from time to time and sharing recipes out of it. Okay, let's pitter patter. Let's get at her. The first part, uh, two cups of granulated sugar, three large eggs. How are y'all today? Comment down below. One cup of uh, oil, vegetable oil, I'm using canola. Mix all this together well. Very uh, simple recipes a lot of times, uh, Amish recipes. And simple, uh, dishes, but simply delicious. You know what I mean? Like it, you don't need a, a whole lot of ingredients to make something delicious. You gotta know, just combine that just for a minute. And it's got a little more pale in color and I'd add some more stuff. So 
so fast, so easy. Okay, now I'm going to sift in three cups of, I wonder what, I'm gonna add the dry, all the dry together before I sift it. It's a habit, I like to do it, okay? A uh, quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon cinnamon. Now I'm gonna sift it into the egg and sugar mixture. I have two loaf pans ready with some liner. I'm gonna spray the liners though. The oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, or it is preheating. And I'm gonna sift this in. One cup of chopped nuts. I had some walnuts left that I mixed up with uh, chopping up some uh, pecans. So it's pecans and walnuts I'm using. And two cups of, uh, I know you grate it, shredded the zucchini, two cups. Just making sure it's all moistened. No flat, no bits of flour. It looks good. I love zucchini loaf. I make a chocolate one too sometimes. No doubt I'll be sharing that at, at some point. <laughs> I'm gonna spray these. I love these muffin liners. I, I mean, loaf liners. I just got them on Amazon. But they're handy dandy. So a lot of times when I make a double or so batch, I measure out in scoops so that I can do equal as much as I can or weigh it. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll spray it up too. One. Two. And then a bit. <coughs> yeah, if I'm not weighing it, that's how I uh, try to distribute both pans evenly so that they have about the same, or they have the same amount of cook time, basically. Sure there's no air pockets. This is for the oven. I'm gonna clean up my mess and I'll be back. Neighbors, just to give you an idea of the size zucchinis I used and how many for two cups. I had three of these uh, in my refrigerator that I have to use up. I grated two of them. It's eight inches long. Both all of them were about the same size. Eight inches long, so about 20 centimeters. I grated two of them, and I still have like probably like a cup left. So one and a half, not even one and a half, gave me two cups of the, the grated zucchini that I needed, shredded zucchini. So I have this left, so I'm, I'm gonna think of something to make and probably freeze and take over to KC when I see them. One of these loaves I'm gonna freeze and take over to them. One of the loaves I'm gonna slice up and freeze the slices for uh, Graham's lunches, but leaving out like a slice that we can cut in half and share with our tea today. Yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's some info, hopefully help, helpful info for you. 50 to 60 minutes. It's your toothpick, if it comes out, it doesn't have to be dry like it just comes out clean or just with a bit of crumbs on it you're you're good to go uh they've been sitting out here for a few minutes so i'm just going to take them out of the pan so they're not even that hot to touch anymore 
This one feels a little hotter. I'm gonna let them cool on the rack for a bit before I cut into them. Let's have a tiny piece with a bit of tea. Pour my tea here. that with my tea. Let's see. Mm, I love walnuts and pecans. It's a nice treat. You can taste a little bit of cinnamon coming through, a little bit of the nutmeg coming through. Really good. Definitely recommend it. It's really nice, really nice. It's it's not a heavy uh, bread. It's delicious. <laughs>